This midterm election came at quite a cost. Abby Larico with our Verify team is looking into if this turned out to be the most expensive midterm race ever. After much speculation that it would be, yes, this was the most expensive midterm election in history, and the final numbers aren't even in yet. We checked in with several sources to track the numbers and learn more about what they mean. This will be the most expensive midterm in history. The Federal Election Commission tracks campaign financing in federal races, and as of now, we only have numbers through October 31st. But going back from there to January of 2021, the beginning of this House term, the FEC tallies nearly nearly $7.4 billion in political spending. That includes from candidates, party committees, and political action committees in these federal races. That's more than was spent in the record-breaking 2018 midterms, even after adjusting for inflation. We're expecting that to get overall at the end, when all is said and done, just under $9 billion. Sarah Briners with the nonprofit campaign money tracker Open Secrets. The last few weeks of a campaign are pretty expensive. Their analysis found top spending candidates are those running for Senate. As for where the money goes, experts say it's been similar to previous elections. More money went to media than any other single category. And Erica Franklin Fowler, who runs the Wesleyan Media Project, says political messengers can't afford not to hit all platforms. Every Every cycle, I feel like we're at the space to say, is this the year that television advertising will finally slow down and it'll be a tipping point? It's still very heavy. And then the other big trend, of course, is the expansion beyond television into digital. Open Secrets projects if you include state races in this, total spending will be close to $16.7 billion. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.